everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing part three of my decorating series for my studio apartment. It's a little bit messy right now, but that's okay. We're on a bit of a time crunch. I have a class to go to in 45 minutes. So we're gonna see how much I can get done until I have to go to that class. But we're gonna make the most of the time we have and whatever I don't finish, I'll probably catch up with you tomorrow and work on. If you're new here, my name's Alexis, I'm 24. I live in Manhattan and I moved into this studio apartment a few months ago. I documented my entire journey from the first day I started looking until moving into this apartment. So if you're curious, you can go to my channel. I have a moving in NYC playlist that you can watch all 10 episodes if you just have a ton of time to kill and you have endless hours to watch me crying. Recently, there have been a lot of birds outside my window and they're tweeting very loudly right now. So if you hear that, I'm so sorry. It's really distracting me. So this is part three. I already did two parts of my decorating series because I moved in, I got all my furniture, like the necessities, and then I was like, oh, I'm out of money. I've been saving up and really trying to pick the perfect things to decorate my apartment that I know are gonna be worth my money, worth my time, and just look nice. I didn't wanna rush into anything. I wouldn't say I was the best interior decorator in the past. In my previous apartment, I really rushed into getting a ton of things for my apartment and then none of them ended up going together. And then over a year, I had to like redecorate the entire room. So we weren't doing that this time. In my first part, I did this coffee bar back here. In my second part, I got my artwork and hung it up, even though you don't really see any artwork right now, but I promise it's all over here. In this episode, I just just got a little table console drawer thing. I don't really know how to describe it. It's gonna go next to my fireplace right here. Before you say anything, I know I need to cover this TV cord. I'm just lazy. I just have not gotten around to getting a cover for it, but I promise I will. So my desk is right here and then I'm going to put this table console cabinet shelf thing right here. So like I said, a minute ago, I have a class that I have to leave for very soon. So we're gonna see how much I can get done and the rest will kind of finish up tomorrow. It's usually my boyfriend Jonah is here helping me out with anything furniture or picture or hanging things related. He's incredible at all of that. So usually he takes the lead and I just kind of help, but I decided no, I think I can put this table together myself. It shouldn't be that hard. I already wasn't doing too well yesterday when it got delivered and I could not carry it up the stairs and I had to call my friend Kevin who lives down the street. He had to come help me carry it because I simply could not. So we're off to a great start, but I think I'll be able to build this by myself. Also, my eyes, the whole redness, I, I've been talking about it for a few weeks. I realized the, I don't even know what it is, chemical? That sounds bad. It's in skincare, trentinoin, I think is how you say it. It can dry out your eyes and around your mouth. You can see I have a little spot right here. That's what was drying out my skin. So my face is healing, hopefully it won't be dry anymore. You probably don't care, but for the few people who reached out and offered some advice for my dry eyes and stuff, that's what's going on. So thank you everybody for all of your advice and help. Glad we figured this one out. I wish I knew how many pounds this was. Do they ever write that anywhere? Ow. I dropped it on my toe. It's heavy enough to hurt your toe. That's that's how heavy it is. I think I need some scissors to open this up. I'm realizing I have no faith, no faith at all that we are going to get this done before I have to leave. I also have a ton of random bags of stuff in this corner that we have to clear out. Hypothetically, the stuff in the big Ikea bag that I've had sitting in this corner over here for three months will nicely fit into this unit. And then this bag right here is my friend Gary's clothes that he left at my apartment two months ago. So if Gary, if you like to pick those up anytime soon, that'd be great. I thought since I'm going to be sitting kind of far away, I'd plug in my external mic, so. Didn't have that in before. Not that there's that much of a difference, but we're gonna try it out. I always forget to plug in my external mic because I'm just like always on the go with my camera, so I don't always have it in. But then I get paranoid that it's not actually recording my audio right now, but I, I just tested it like 10 times, so it should be good. Ooh, yeah. This seems, oh, time for assembly, 70 minutes. How many minutes do I have? I have 40. Let's just go for it. And then maybe tonight I'll finish it when I get back. As you can see, I've never built anything in my life but myself that isn't like three steps. All right, here are all the tools. We have the, these nice pieces. Some of these aren't even numbered. Dang it, you know, guys, I really thought we were gonna have this whole like independent I can build it myself moment, but no, I'm gonna have to get a little help on this. That sucks. I really thought I was gonna do it. It's rough. Oh, wait, I'm so stupid. They are numbered. <gasps> There's so many pieces. 
<laughs> I'm still so confused where the first pieces that I need are. 12? Oh, I found it. This is my first piece. Thank you, thank you. I'm doing it. I don't need any help. Let's do this. I feel like I'm not gonna narrate me putting this together unless it goes horribly wrong. So I'll just show you. I'll just show you what's going on. Well, <laughs> um, so right off the bat, we are already missing a screw for the first for the first step. And you know, I'm all for girl power. I was really gonna do this. I was saying I can do it myself, but I don't think I realized I bought such a complex table. I think the reason I have such issue like building things is when I spent that money myself, like I spent a good chunk of money on this. So now I'm so nervous I'm gonna mess it up and then I'm gonna ruin the whole thing that I just spent money on. I like having Jonah around because he can at least supervise and kind of be like, wait, you should be doing it like this or you're doing that wrong. Honestly, I hate to say it, but I think we're gonna have to call in backup. This is like 70 minute building time a ton of pieces, a million bags of screws, and I don't trust myself, and I'm very slow. I overthink the directions a little too much, so I think this might be a team effort. I'm gonna go to my class, it's a dance class, but I do think Jonah is gonna come over after the class, so either we'll build it tonight or we'll do it in the morning when it's natural light again. Sorry, this is, I did not think it was gonna end up like this. I really thought I was gonna just take it out and be like, oh. The thing is, I built this little clothing rack myself that I ordered on Amazon a few weeks ago. And this I easily did in like 30 minutes and it was like six steps. So I just assumed this table would be the same thing. So I tried my best. Now that everything is out and scattered on the floor, it's the perfect time for me to leave and not finish it. So talk to you when I have someone to help. Well, everybody, um, it's the next morning and Jonah is so graciously here helping me build my table shelf organizer thing. It's kind of complicated, right? Yeah, the instructions are not that helpful. Jonah has some beef with the instructions because they're trying to be like funny in the instructions, but they're not that helpful. Like read them this one. That's stupid. Step five. Let's consider this your workout for the day. Take a five minute break and order yourself some pizza. Wait, what is that even That's mean? not helpful. And in the picture is this very complicated series of things you have to do, but all it says is order some pizza. But we're getting there. And by we, I mean Jonah mostly. See, this one says connect bottom panel. They should have said, put the door on first, then connect the bottom panel. Are you kidding me? What? I grabbed the wrong door. Jonah pretty much built the whole thing. Now we're just putting on the feet. Thank you. You're welcome. What would I do without him? Okay, so updates. Also, I'm sorry, don't look at my skin. I'm going to the dermatologist later. We're gonna get figured out. It's just very dry. Update. Here is what it's looking like right now. We were on the final step of just screwing in the bottom and the feet. My screwdriver is too thick to fit into the little hole we need to like get it into to get the screws into the feet. Jonah is going to his apartment. He's getting a skinnier screwdriver because he has one. And then we also need to walk our friend's dog. And then we're gonna screw the feet in. And then it'll be done. Oh yeah, and right now I'm cleaning up my apartment because it's an absolute mess. So I kept talking about how I needed big pasta bowls because my bowls are literally only this big. My mom so nicely yesterday sent me four big pasta bowls. So I'm going to take those out of the box and put them away. So pretty, this is perfect. Hello, I'm putting on my sunglasses because my eyes are still looking very red. I went to the dermatologist earlier. We just figured it out. My skin just wasn't used to a certain product I was using. I'm going to pick up a prescription to make my eyes moist again. They will no longer look like this. It's all good, but that this is not a normal vlog. We're talking furniture, so less about that, more about this. It is five o'clock. Got the screwdriver from Jonah. We're gonna finish building this thing by ourselves. Hopefully the last three steps are not too difficult because it's just me again. There's a store in the area called Happy Kangaroo that just seems like a little boutique-y like furniture decor 
type store. I wanna go check it out before it closes. So we're gonna go outside. It has been 80 degrees and sunny today, but I have a strong feeling it's going to start thunderstorming. Let's go see if we can find anything cute to decorate my new little this thing with. Okay, so I did not find anything at that store, which is fine. I'd never been in there before. I just wanted to browse and um, they had really cute stuff, but a lot of it was kind of expensive. There were some things that were like 40 bucks and other things were like 900. So I was like, I, what's the vibes here? I, I didn't know, but it was cute stuff and very specific things. So if I ever need like a specific kind of candle or utensil or decor piece, like I'll go back in, but I, there was nothing in there that I could buy without contemplating it for a few days it also was about to thunderstorm right when i was running out so i was like i gotta get back because it was getting so windy like i couldn't even have my umbrella out and now we're back and i'm going to finish putting these legs on the unit and then we're gonna set it up it's kind of getting dark now i have my lamp on but the daylight it's it's fading because of the storm the humidity man it's it's rough is not that bad. So all I really needed was just Jonah to help me start this thing by building three-fourths of it and then I easily, easily can finish it. All right, so I've secured all of these wooden things. Not that well, but they're secured. So now I just have these two steps left. We're out here attaching these feet. So let's see how we even do this. I may not be good at building things. I may not be that good at cooking or cleaning, but I have a good personality 50% of the time. Feet assembled. Now I just have to put the little backings on. All right, we're about to do some DIY. As you can see on this side, there's a cutout and on this side, there's a cutout, but I need the cutout in the middle where the cabinet is. So we're just gonna snip snip. And honestly, since there's a cabinet, if it looks kind of bad, it doesn't really matter. No one will be able to see it. Will this even cut this? No, I don't know what I'm thinking. Scissors are not gonna cut this. Oh, no, it's cutting. That's not terrible. It's not great. It's not terrible. My friend Maggie's here now and Hello. I finished it. I put the backing on myself. I put the feet on myself and now Maggie's gonna help me flip this because we all know if I did it myself, it would end badly. Yeah. Oh, beautiful. Nice. Wait, this is really cute. Here we are. Hey everyone, it's the next morning and I think I'm gonna end the vlog here. I know that all we really did was clean up a little bit and build this unit, but I'm filming this currently the day I'm supposed to be posting it and I want to make this unit very nice and I want to get a picture to hang above it and there's a lot more I want to do with it that I feel like would be really rushed if I tried doing it today and then posting this video later tonight at like a very late hour. But if you stay tuned for the next part, I will decorate the unit, hang up a picture and make everything look really cohesive. So here's what it looks like right now in the daylight. I really like this unit. I think it looks really nice. Right now it looks a little chaotic because all of these wires are still around it and I have like random things on the ground. But once I tuck all the wires in, put everything away in the cabinets and hide this cord, hang up a picture, I think it's gonna look really nice. So don't judge it yet if you're not too sure. Just wait to see what I do with it. I really love the unit. I'm really glad I got it. And I think it will be the perfect thing to store the rest of the stuff I have sitting out in my living room. I'm going to say goodbye. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you haven't yet, please subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.